As the brakes are drum brakes rather than discs, I need to open them up to see what's really going on. Everything looks pretty much brand new. Got a new slave cylinder. All the springs have got no corrosion on them whatsoever. The shoes have got loads of meat on the friction material as well. I can't see any leaks or anything, so everything seems like it's in order. One thing I will check is this clever little mechanism down here, which basically takes up the slack. Obviously, when you're operating your brakes, you're using up the friction material. And if I just operate this little lever here, you can see that when this is pulled up, in turn, kind of moves this little wheel down the bottom, this little cog. And that, in turn, actually separates the shoes. So it kind of compensates for any loss of friction material. And that's all working as well. So really, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this side, so maybe something wrong with the other side. And the right-hand front brake is in just as good condition as the left. Even the self-adjuster is working as it should. So really, the only thing that could be wrong with these brakes is some kind of imbalance in the adjustment. So all I have to do now is put everything back together again and hope that just setting them up exactly the same is going to be enough to make this car work OK. The effective braking force can be adjusted so both sides are evenly matched. That way, neither brake will snatch, which would pull the car to one side. So I've now got the shoes on both sides, kind of just touching the drums when I put them into position. So what I want to do now is centre those shoes. I'm just going to pump the brakes a few times and then just check that they're all kind of free and moving around nicely. And then I want to try and find out if I can get them exactly the same amount of adjustment. I'm going to use a nifty tool to apply a constant pressure to the brake pedal. That way, the brakes are going to be lightly applied, which will mean that the brake shoes are rubbing on the inside of the drum, and I'll be able to feel whether the resistance on either side is the same and can adjust accordingly. So the brakes are now on. And there's quite a bit of drag on there. Let's try the other side. That's just a little bit less, a tiny adjustment required. Using a screwdriver, I can push the self-adjusting ratchet downwards, which in turn forces the brake shoes outwards, increasing the braking effect. By making this adjustment, I can make sure both left and right sides are providing an equal braking force. So it's back to the MOT center and the brake testing machine. Okay, I'm gonna go straight onto the imbalance. Let's have a look. Right. Twelve percent, that's pretty good. I'll just try one more time just to be sure. Ten percent, even better. Can't be happier than that. Well, sorting out the brakes has hardly cost me an arm and a leg, but of course that's mostly down to the fact that all the parts are pretty much brand new. But that tiny little adjustment has made all the difference between a terrifying drive and a lovely, enjoyable cruise.